In this slide deck, we illustrate methods for describing the dynamics of stochastic systems. In the first video, we will introduce the master equation, which is used to describe the time evolution of the probability distribution of a population of stochastic systems. In the next video, we will outline the stochastic simulation algorithm, which is used to calculate examples of particular trajectories of individual stochastic systems. We visualize the master equation using the icons on the left. Consider a population of cells, each individual cell of which could have a number of copies of messenger RNA molecules. The vertical axis illustrates the states corresponding to m equals 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4 molecules of messenger RNA per cell. All of the cells in the population are initially devoid of messenger RNA. Owing to transcription, some of these cells gain a copy of messenger RNA over a short time interval delta t. Time is represented by the horizontal axis running toward the right. Owing again to transcription, a cell that now has one copy of messenger RNA at time delta t may gain an additional copy so as to have two copies of messenger RNA at time 2 delta t. In addition to processes that can increase the number of copies of messenger RNA inside a cell, chemical reactions can also degrade messenger RNA. Over time, the population of cells may eventually approach a steady state distribution with respect to the vertical axis. For the purposes of this video, we are describing intervals of time during which the total number of cells remains constant. This diagram illustrates the dynamics of the population by positioning icons of cells in a checkerboard laid down across state space and time. To describe mathematically the pattern with which cells are arranged on this grid, we compare the numbers of cells in the light blue and dark blue boxes. In other words, we compare the number of cells that have m copies of messenger RNA at time t plus delta t to the number of cells that have this same number m of copies of messenger RNA at a preceding time t. In this illustration, m happens to equal one copy of messenger RNA. Were it not for transcription or degradation, these two boxes would contain the same number of cells capital N. However, a portion of the cell population starting out with M copies of messenger RNA indicated by the pink box will gain another copy of messenger RNA through transcription. The number of cells in the pink box is N on M comma T. Of these cells, a fraction represented by the product of the rate coefficient r sub up on m comma t and delta t removes itself from the state m and puts itself into the state m plus 1. Removal corresponds to the negative sign in front of the rate coefficient in the equation. For short durations of the time interval delta t, the number of cells removed in this way is linearly proportional to the time interval delta t. The longer the duration of time between the two blue boxes, the greater the number of cells that have removed themselves along the pink arrow. We include another coefficient in the square brackets to describe the portion of the cell population starting out from the pink box and removing itself from the state M by losing a copy of messenger RNA. Cells starting out with one fewer copy of messenger RNA than the cells in the pink box can enter the state M owing to transcription. The number of cells in the yellow box is n on m minus 1 comma t, and of this population a fraction r sub up on m minus 1 comma t times delta t has immigrated to the state m by time t plus delta t. Immigration corresponds to a plus sign in front of the yellow rate coefficient in the equation. In a similar way, cells starting out with one more copy of messenger RNA than the cells in the pink box can enter the state M by way of messenger RNA degradation. The number of cells in the golden box is N on M plus 1 comma T, and of this population, a fraction R sub down on M plus 1 comma T times delta T has immigrated to the state M by the time T plus delta T. The numbers of cells that have removed themselves from, or instead moved themselves into, the state M over a time interval delta t increase linearly in delta t for small values of delta t. To frame our discussion more precisely, we recognize that the equation we have written describes n on m comma t plus delta t as a Taylor expansion with respect to delta t, with the constant term n on m comma t along with first-order terms in delta t written out explicitly. 
terms with squared and higher powers of delta t are implied. Move the constant n on m comma t to the left hand side of the equation. The difference n on m comma t plus delta t minus n on m comma t is the difference between the numbers of cells in the two blue boxes. Call this difference delta n on m comma t. Divide both sides by the time interval delta t and by the total number of cells n total, which we said was constant during this video. Dividing the implied terms in which squared and higher powers of delta t previously appeared yields a collection of implied terms in which first and higher powers of delta t now appear. Recognize ratios of cell numbers as population fractions and label these fractions accordingly with letter p's. Allow delta t to become arbitrarily short. The ratio of the change in population fraction delta p to the finite time interval delta t becomes arbitrarily close to its limiting value dp dt, and the implied terms in which single or higher powers of delta t appear become arbitrarily small relative to the terms in which delta t does not appear. This differential equation is called the master equation for this system. Master equations express the dynamics of the population fraction of a state of interest in terms of transport into that state from and transport out of that state to other states. Products between rate coefficients and population fractions appear in the individual terms in master equations because the amount of transport from a state depends both on whether there are any cells in that state to begin with and, if so, what fraction of these cells actually jumps to another state. How often does a doctor see patients? This depends both on how many people are in the waiting room and on what fraction of those people are called to see the doctor each hour. The master equation we have discussed is used to describe the dynamics of the distribution of a large population of stochastic systems across state space. To be able to compute particular examples of trajectories of individual stochastic systems, we describe the stochastic simulation algorithm in the next video.